The doctor's in, Michael Parati, joining you here for some practice commentary takes. Now let's just jump right into it. Ready? Here we are, back into it with Chris G versus Zeke. Chris G minus his almost signature trunks. And he's picked up, a, you know, a little bit of a different team. Goku Black, somebody that a lot of people say is, you know, a, not a dead character, but not a good character. You know, no left-right mix-up. His vertical mix-up is not exactly fantastic. But it, it's a very solid character. Good normals. You know, his DHS, or DHC, excuse me, is pretty bad. Just straight up bad, just because it cancels out a lot of damage from, you know, your... your teammates but he's getting knocked out knocked down pretty low he's gonna get popped out here and lose a lot of blue hp and zeke is off to a fantastic start here you know really close to taking away chris's first character that should not have worked but it does work occasionally, especially online. You know, you do the raw level one, level one, trying to trick your opponent. You know, using those last couple frames to to really bring out the other character. It really worked out there because it caught the super dash and came like an inch within an inch of like killing. If that had killed, that would have been the most ridiculous setup ever. It's so big brain that it shouldn't happen. And Zeke's really struggling to get rid of this. You know, Goku Black, but it's it's so close that if it if it if it just lands one hit, then he's right where he needs to be. He gets the kill, and and that's it. He gets the he gets the hit. He gets the kill, and that's exactly really what he was waiting for every time he snaps Goku Black back in. Again, the, these this shouldn't work. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to just raw tag like that. You know, it, it does end up connecting. I think it is because Chris G just, he, again, he's not expecting it. A bit of a hiccup there. And what looked like a decent offense from Chris G there, you know, screen skips, and all of a sudden Zeke gets the kill. And so now it, it's a really bad situation for Chris G to be in. You know, single character, does have level 3 sparking, but he's also going against, you know, three relatively full health characters. trying to keep the corner here. He's trying to keep the advantage going for him. It's just, it's not connecting the way he wants. Is it going to go for that banished Dragon Snap? Went for the late Dragon Rush there, gets jumped out of. And now he's back on the defensive. Not going to be enough meter here to go for the level 3 mix, but he's able to keep pressure going. This is not where Chris G wants to be. Four bars a meter is going to get double level one into level three. Yeah, that should be it. And that is going to be it. Zeke is going to take the first game against Chris G. And it started like a bit of a struggle there, you know. Good pressure here out of Zeke. He's able to use that Yamcha assist to keep the pressure going while he sets up something else. Gohan does get the overhead con to connect, and now he's leveled up. He's level one Gohan. His pressure is now going to be that much better. And at, right now, he might not even need it. He's just so impressive on the Chris G. He's you know continually keeping the pressure going and keeping the character on the ground. Chris G is finally able to get a swap out, get Goku Black going. Does get clipped by the assist, though, and he's going to lose a lot of HP for it. And that's going to be a dead Bardock. Went all the way up to level 3. Blew all that meter. Went for some style points. Another little hiccup there. And you can see that Chris G decided to bring Goku Black back in. 
And Zeke just says no. He's like, I'm not having it. I'm not dealing with this Goku Black this time. He's like, I struggled with it last time. You can have it. I'm done with it. Lots of beams coming out. The Dragon Rush, unfortunately, going to get jumped out of. And now it's Zeke back on the offensive. He's able to get so much damage out of these setups. He's done dealing with the cooler. Didn't want to have to deal with the double beam setup that it was going on there with the black assist with, you know, cooler's own beam himself. Lots of damage coming out of this Ojita. Drops the combo, but it's just continually trades. And he's gonna get the kill there finally. Does a little flashy like going going for that explosion. The dirty fireworks. And now we're back into this situation we found ourselves last time. You know, a two character lead for Zeke. Doesn't have sparking this time. But it's it's still a really big advantage to have. You know, Christie doesn't have the assists, you know, to try and open them up. And so Zeke can just sit there and block until that happens. That should be it for Vegeta. No! Oh my god, so little health left. That has to hurt. He does end up getting the kill eventually, but he had to put in so much extra effort to try and get it. Another raw Dragon Rush is going to connect for Chris G. He's trying to make it work. He's doing everything he can. <laughs> he's just going to keep Dragon Rushing you. This is like when you get command throw looped in Street Fighter. It's just he's just gonna keep throwing you over and over again. Well, does get teched that time. And Zeke Zeke's sitting back. He's not trying to break this pressure at all. Knows he doesn't realistically have to, but now things are looking really dire. He's lost two full characters, basically to Raw Dragon Rush. And so now it's just the Yamcha, doesn't have Sparking available, does have all seven bars though. Gets the corner, starts applying pressure, guard cancel is Chris G's lifeline right now. No Sparking, so this is all going to count. Probably going to see a level three here. Weird that that counted as an aerial level 3 off of the dive kick. Pops the sparking, using it preemptively, knows that there's 7 bars of meter to work with for Zeke. Doesn't want to get caught by a level 1, level 3 and just have to, you know, eat it and try and survive. And this is the exact situation he was trying to, you know, prevent. <coughs> Because instead of having to burn Sparking now, he had the opportunity to make another play. He could have DP'd, he decided to vanish, he could have done realistically anything. Easy one hit to connect. Lots of damage here connecting, but the combo's going to drop for Z, and that could be it. That super dash into vanish could have been all that was needed, and yeah, I don't think he survives this one. I was wrong last time, but this time I'm a little bit more confident. So what seemed like the ultimate terrible situation for Chris G, he ends up bringing it back. He ends up making it work. And that's a little heartbreaking for Zeke. You know, like I said, he lost basically two full characters to Dragon Rush. So he's going to have to be a lot more careful coming into this match. Watching out for those Dragon Rushes, trying to get those techs in. He's doing a really good job opening Chris G up with, these, with this um, Yamcha Gohan shell. You know, using that block stun into the overhead. Ooh, lots of 2H trades and Zeke comes out on top. 
Doesn't connect. Probably went for the medium. Probably went for the medium um, elbow there. Doesn't get him to kill anyway. Levels up quite a bit. Oof, that could have been dangerous if he got hit by the destructor disc there. Odd combo there from Zeke. I don't know if he just didn't expect it to connect or if he was waiting for something else. Oof, big 2H there. Vanishes are not safe when compared to a 2H. He waited for it. He knew that was waiting. Knew that was coming. And he just raw DP'd again. What is he doing? <laughs> Zeke once again up two full characters. And just immediately offensive. Doesn't 2 H that super dash. A little bit slow. Doesn't matter. Gets the connection. Still has sparking available. Is he going to blow it or is he just going to set up for the level 3? Sparking. There's no way this kills. It kills. Wow. Holy moly. I was not expecting that to kill. There was so much damage. That was so late in the combo. And Zeke just makes it work. That was wild. He, he actually made it work. Christy needs to do something. He keeps getting bopped by that exact combo right there. And then getting caught off super dashes as well. So when in situations like this happens, Zeke doesn't have to worry about those dragon rushes that he, you know, lost you know, so many so much health to. Because he's just so oppressive, so on the offensive that Chris G's not getting the opportunity to. And when Golan's just out here raw DPing people, like, why even worry about a Dragon Rush? Zeke decided not to go for that swap out. Ends up getting caught by the Bardock there. But he trades him out. He knows what he's doing. Lots of options out of that Vegeta level three. They're, ooh, that should, I believe that should have connected. Isn't that an isn't that a link? It doesn't matter now. He does get you know, Christie gets the character swap out. He's not in as bad a situation as he was. He needs to not get hit while he waits for that health to come back. And he just burned some of that, that blue health. Uh, that may not have been the most ideal situation, but he makes it work. Ends up getting a character kill as well. Good stagger there meant that Zeke was trying to fit a move in where he couldn't. One less piece to the puzzle that Zeke has to work with. You know, the one game Christie has won is when he took a character from Zeke. And so now that he got the first one, it's on to the second one. You know, has all these assists available to him that, you know, he hasn't in the past. And Chris just keeps getting... He keeps getting caught in these, in these air battles. And it's not really where his characters are super proficient. You know, he likes to be on the ground and applying pressure. He wants to be able to, you know, keep Zeke from really doing too much. And when he's just getting punched out of the air, that's not the opportunity that he's looking for. Ooh, that was close. Gets the cross up, gets the air damage. With six bars of meter, doesn't decide to go for the finish, but doesn't need it, doesn't need to burn the meter. Gets it off the assist from Gohan. Oh. 
pressure being applied by Chris G. Trying to keep it going. Doesn't have the assist just yet available. There's the raw dragon rush again, though. He makes it work. There's a good reaction there from Zeke to recognize that he's, he's gotten the opportunity to, you know, swap out his character um, by, you know, having that whiff Dragon Rush. Back on the offensive, has seven bars a meter. That, that wasn't wise, realistically. He burned all that meter, doesn't even get the connection, and ends up losing Gohan off the back end. So now he's, you know, solo Yamcha with sparking, but has zero bars of meter when he didn't need to do all that. He could have just level three. <laughs> sparking used by both sides. Still an assist available for Chris G. Means he can keep the pressure going just a little bit longer. Held the vanish there trying to beat out something. Gonna get some good damage there. Not a lot left for that Sparking to bring back. Chris G's Sparking is actually almost gone. Sparking dies, and just as Cooler does himself, now it's one on one. Sparking ending now for Z. So he's, you know, on even footing, equal health. Meter in favor of Chris G. Arguably the better solo character as well, but Zeke is just defending, waiting for his moment, waiting for his turn. When does it come? Nobody knows. And he's not going to get one. That raw Dragon Rush should be it. This should be all it needs for Chris G to take this game. And there it is. These raw Dragon Rushes are really working for Chris. You know, both games he's won, it's been because he's, you know, taken a second, not not pushed a button, and then Dragon Rushed. Gotten, you know, plenty of damage off of that, and then turned it into opportunities. Super Dash clashing with Gohan's kick in the air. Feels bad. It's unfortunate we keep getting these skips like right as something seems to happen. But Zeke's now on the offensive once again. Chris G finally getting some opportunities in. DHCs correctly, so he makes sure that every single super gets the opportunity to connect. Good escape there by Zeke. It's not something we see super duper often, even with you know adult Gohan players, is that DP into option. Bit of disrespect there from Chris. Goes for the char key charge like right after the knockdown. It ended up not working out for him. He gets cornered. Eventually gets opened up. A little loop there. A little bit of a loop from Vegeta. Lots of meter gains though. This might be all it takes to end Barter? Five bars. If he uses them correctly, he decided not to burn the meter and he doesn't need it anyway. Zeke's gonna close out onto Bardock's short existence. And Chris G does not seem comfortable on this Goku Black. Not at all, because he's swapping out. Now that he's lost it a couple times, he's continually swapping away from it, making sure it's in the back, keeping that assist available, because it's really good assist. You know, beam assists are really strong here. That... No punish available. It... Does it connect? It connect the second time. Okay. I was like, what? Wow. He's just trying to make things happen. He gets the sparking blast out from Chris G. 
Christy is pretty lucky that he never got swapped on. There was a lot of blue health on Goku, or Goku Black. They could have just been evaporated. He's been given the time to recover it now. Spark and Blast is now over for Cooler himself. The Wolf Fang makes up third, coming in clutch on the guard cancel, and now lots of damage. No meter available, so he's just gonna have to make it work. Now, Chris G has a hill to climb. Lots of HP. Sparking Blast makes even more HP. Now he's not able to finish up these combos efficiently. And now, this is this is basically worst case scenario. Solo cooler, no sparking, full team, and that's it. Chris G is going to take another L. Really well played there by Zeke. He made it work. He made it happen. Took the advantages where he needed them. Took the advantages where he had them. And even through some rough patches with Dragon Rush, finished out strong and ended up with the 3-2 victory over Chris G.